taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. So today we're going to talk about Zen Doge, which is the latest edition of Meme Coin launching in support of Zen, Zen Crypto. Okay, guys, this is going to be, you know, I mean, you can actually uh, mess around with this right now under X1 DevNet. I haven't done that. But um, it's going to be launching on Ethereum, according to what it says on the website. Um, I hope it only launches on Ethereum. Okay, uh, with Meme Coins on the rise, things like Pepe, Capturing a lot of attention from the hype boys, the moon boys, the meme token community. I think that this one could be just as big as Pepe. Okay, and getting in early will probably benefit you. You can actually burn Zen to get into this project, and that's what I plan to do. That being said, there's going to be a lot of Zen burned to get into this project. And I think people are going to be buying Zen to burn to get into this project. Because just like I've explained in previous videos, people have their mints kind of spread out over a number of years, right? Or at least over a year. So Zen Doge is, um, is, is, is fair. It's got a cap supply of 50 billion tokens, immutable, no origin address, and no pre-mint. So the only way you can get this is to burn Zen. Okay, guys. So Zen Doge, born from the magical ashes of burn Zen on the Ethereum network, brings together kind-hearted Xenians from around the world in its heartfelt pursuit of providing much-needed support to animals in need. Um, if you're wondering, it is based on Jack Levin's actual puppy. So this is not just uh, randomised. This is actually his dog uh, that he adopted or he's fostering. Um, so he has a... <laughs> he does have a dog. Okay, guys. So right about now, um, it's not live yet. I do believe it's going live in around two weeks. Um, if we can jump into the Telegram. So this should be live in around two weeks. Um, you can mess around with it on the testnet, the X1 devnet, once again. But um, yeah, so according to Rose, uh, the launch is on Ethereum in one to two weeks. Okay, so it could be one week. It could be two weeks. But if you're super early. You've got plenty of time to prepare for this. I know some people are buying Zen now in preparation. Some might buy Zen later, but I do anticipate the price of Zen to move um, in anticipation of this event. All right, guys, we saw what happened last time with DXN. And um, people like myself were late to DXN. Um, so I want to be early to Zen Doge. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, one of the main reasons, the community, if the community is hype about this, then there's no reason that I wouldn't expect that this won't do well, okay? I do believe it's going to do well. The Zen community is a very large community. Bunch of holders holding Zen. So, um, yeah, I think in the season that we're in, especially if, an, if we do really get a proper altcoin season very soon, this is going to go absolutely crazy. And um, we know that people are, you know, willing to expose themselves to risk right now just looking at things like pepe okay uh so right about now you can donate zen uh sorry when this when this goes live you can burn zen so for each 1000 zen burned you receive one zen doge plus a bonus the current bonus is 1500 percent, and the earlier that you get in it um it's it's uh the better because that uh, that bonus does reduce Okay, and you can also donate the XN, to uh, the XN token, I can't speak. You can donate the XN token, which people will get airdropped, potentially. If you're creating NFTs on Polygon, Ethereum, um, Avalanche maybe, uh, on any mainnet, as long as it's not a layer 2. If it's on a mainnet, you're going to be getting an airdrop, potentially, of the XN token. So you can actually um, use that as well, I believe to mint or, or maybe it's just a donation i'm not sure i know that um they are using the proceeds to go to supporting dogs right in shelters and things like that there are some faqs what is zen doge okay it's an exciting cryptocurrency on ethereum network with a purpose so again i hope it's just on the ethereum network because if this launches on multiple networks that's just going to take away some of the momentum that it could just capture if it was only on the ethereum network if it's available on just one network that's the only place people are going to, going to go to buy it. That's where liquidity, that's where liquidity is going to grow. 
that's where the price is going to move okay how do you get it you burn zen um and so on so users can donate can users donate to animal shelters with zen doge yes you can donate to animal shelters um the inspiration is jack levin's dog and so on okay so what is the early adopter bonus system in zen doge so the early adopter bonus system in zen doge incentivizes adoption and creates excitement around the project by offering bonuses based on the percentage of the total supply minted at the time of burning zen the bonus rate decreases as more tokens are minted read the light paper for more information when you jump into the light paper there is a chart if we scroll down there is a chart explaining the bonus okay so uh if you're in the top if, if you're first right if you're amongst the first people to mint you're gonna get 1500 percent. it doesn't matter if you're a little bit late you will still get a bonus but the earlier the better okay so you can see if you're in the top 15 to 25 percent of supply minted that's 1000 percent. and this is not uh, in terms of the number of people minting this is in terms of the supply that is minted remember the supply is capped at 50 billion so uh you might want to jump into the white paper and read through this a uh, little bit more thoroughly okay do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose and so on but i think burning zen is going to be uh there's going to be a lot of zen burned and that's also going to help with the price of zen so in my not my previous video but one of my previous videos I told you that I was buying a dip on Zen, okay? And uh, some people were saying, oh, I hope you're right, you know, because Zen has been pulling back and so on. But I'm going to show you the bounce that we actually got on Zen um, around about the time that I bought that dip. All right, guys. So I talked about this trend line. If we lower the time frame, let's lower the time frame. Let's go to the four hour. Okay. Right, so we were buying the dip down here, okay, guys. And since then, we've had a nice pump. So, really, if you did get in, if you caught the bottom of that trend, let's just go, let's just go from the bottom a 45% pump, okay, guys. I didn't catch the bottom, okay. The bottom is just a confirmation. I jumped in around here, so literally, approximately 36% profit. Um, if you sold the top, okay, I'm still holding it. Okay, I do believe that Zen is going to go up. We could potentially break out of this wedge, this falling wedge. Okay, potentially, right? Um, I do expect it to come up and touch the top of this wedge at least. Uh, but right now we are getting a pullback. It was a bit of a dip, a super dip on Bitcoin last night, um, which is, you know, it's causing a little bit of panic in the markets, but it did get that bounce as well. But it may roll over by the looks of it. But uh, we don't know, okay, guys. You know these are cryptocurrencies at the mercy of uh, the is at the mercy of Bitcoin, right? On your Ethereum network, of course, and so on, right? Altcoins are going to take a hit if Ethereum takes a hit, okay? But um, it's how they bounce back. You know, um, if Bitcoin dominance falls, we see these coins go absolutely crazy potentially. Um, I think we are probably going to see a pretty decent old season okay guys i'm not with it today i'm going to leave it there um i'll leave all the links in the description for zen doge as well please let me know what you think in the comments subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications and i'll see you guys in the very next video